Hello and welcome back. My name is Delmico L. Cunningham, better known as Dr. Media. So, what I want to talk about today inside of UE4 is how to get your character to either follow a target point or to follow the character inside of uh, UE4. <clears throat> it's actually something very simple to do. So, I'm going to play this so we can see what effect we're going for. So right now, if I go in here and play, you can see that the character, like he's, he's looking for me. <coughs> oh. Ah, and he's still up there. So the minute he touches, the minute he touches me as the player, he's going to stop trying to follow me. But you can see how you know to be it we can so we can look at how this is kind of set up here and I always forget to to actually click into my you can see there he goes he's like he's in behind me boy he's he is really close he's a little too close and he touched me so he stopped he stopped working so <clears throat> let's talk about how we built this so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete Let's just go in here and delete out that guy. So he's gone. And I'm going to go back to my level blueprint and delete the stuff that's inside of my level blueprint as well. So all that is now gone. So what I'm looking for is how I can understand where the... First, I need something, I need something to interact with. And actually, let me go ahead and pull all this stuff out because all of this is a part of what we're going to be putting in here. So, first thing I want to do is I can actually use a blueprint of a character or a blueprint of an actor, rather, that has already been built. So, one common mistake that people make is that they'll have an actor already in their outliner and they'll duplicate that. You do not want to duplicate that. You want to duplicate the blueprint, the original blueprint, and give it a different name. Um, cause if you, if you just do it to, if you just do it to the one that's in the level, you're basically, you're basically making an instance of that blueprint and you're not making a copy of that blueprint because re in the reality, this third person blueprint is the same one that we're going to use for this little, uh, AI controlled guy right here. So one thing we want to do to this blueprint, and you can see that I named, th I named this blueprint bot, I called him bot. So I'm going to right click on this blueprint, go to edit, <clears throat> and everything in the in the event graph, I'm going to delete it. We don't need any of this. Everything that we're going to do for the scripting is going to be at, at the uh, level of the level blueprint. So then here inside of viewport, I'm going to go inside of my components, and I want to get rid of the boom camera, and I want to get rid of the follow camera, because I don't need that either. Only thing I need is a character to be able to walk around and run around inside my level. So now I have a a simple bot sitting over here that can move around and do stuff when I actually tell it to be able to do stuff. <clears throat> so the way I want to do that is I'm going to start with my blueprints and I'm going to go to open up the level blueprint because everything that's here I want it to be inside of my level. Sometimes when people are working with blueprints, I've noticed this when uh, when when people that are brand new to UE4 are working with blueprints, they often get confused of where they want their blueprint their blueprint script to be. And I can tell you, if you are inside, if you are trying to talk to objects within your level, you want those blueprints usually to sit at the level version of your blueprint. And I'll show you why. One of the first things that we need to do is that we need to be able to bring a instance of our of our bot into our blueprint if I click and drag this into my blueprint you can see yes it gives me an instance of the bot for the level and it's a it's a from persistent level so this is from this level so I can talk and use this into scripts that I write if I go back inside of the blueprint for my actual bot and if I try to bring in this bot persistent, if I try to bring this in to, to actually talk to it in the blueprint, you'll see it doesn't come in there. Well, it's because you can't talk, 
well, you can talk to yourself. That's a little bit strange. But inside of Unreal, you cannot talk to yourself inside of yourself um, because the world can't hear it, right? So kind of the same thing. Think about things that are going to happen at the world level. They need to actually, they need to actually be at that level of the world. So just keep that in mind. So I'm inside of my level blueprint, and you'll always know when you're inside your level blueprint because it'll say level blueprint. So what I want to do is I want to get controller. So I'm going to do a get controller. And something I'm going to do that's, that makes this pretty simple and pretty easy, I'm going to make sure I have my bot, which is what I want to talk to, have that selected. And I'm going to come in here and type in get, eh, let's get this to come up. So let's say get con controller so you can see I can say I'm gonna get controller and look at that it actually connected my bot to the get controller so the next thing I want to do is I want to do a location so I'm gonna say that I want a simple and you'll notice I have a move to act and a move to location I want to say move to location and I'm gonna connect this return value to the controller so I'm going to I'm going to get this to move to this location. Well, where the heck is this location at? Well, we're going to we're going to use if I look inside of my classes over here, so all classes, I'm going to look for a trigger or target point rather. So here's my target point. I'm going to drag that into my world. So you see now I have a target point inside of my world. So I'm going to come I have this selected. I'm going to come in here and right click inside of my level blueprint. And I'm going to say get, and we want to say actor location. And I can see there it is right there, get actor location. So I'm going to click on that, and you can see, look, once again, it, it locked this up for me. So this is where I want it, this is what I want it to move to, and this is to tell the script where the actor currently is and um, the goal. So right here I have a simple move to location. So it has a goal. So I want it to move here. So here's my bot. Here's the controller to actually control it. So I want this to control it. So instead of using like a controller, like a keyboard or mouse or a or actual game gamepad, we want the internal controls of this character to run on its own. So that's what we're doing right here. And we're telling it to move to a location. And the goal is this point right here but we have to know where that point exists at inside of the world so we can move there now we need something that fires that can fire off the script <coughs> we can do a key press well, I can make this a key press to where when I press a key this actually fires off and it makes this happen so let's I'm not gonna do a key though I wanna just do an event I wanna do an event and I'm just gonna do when the when the event is begin play so whenever the level begins play I want the character to run over to the point that I've set in my world so let's play this and see if he does it well you can see that this is actually simulating the begin play event fired off but our guy did not move at all well I can tell you why he did not move so even though I have the script the script is set up correctly the thing that my character does not know or that my bot does not know it does not know where the world is at and how big the world is so what we need to do is we need to actually give it a volume so there is actually a nav mesh bounds volume so I'm gonna drop this into my world and I'm gonna I'm going to scale this I'm gonna scale it like this and scale it like this so I want to encompass everything that I want my character to be able to know it can work around and manipulate so I've got this now if you want to see where the effect of the um, nav mesh is if you hit the P key while you have your nav mesh selected it'll show you everything that the character or the bot can currently interact with because it knows that that exists so if I take this and I scale this down kinda like this you can see he knows everything that exists in here and I'm gonna take my point and bring it like right here so he knows how to get there so now if I come in here and play 
And when we can see he's he's still he's kind of like uh yeah well I I don't I don't know what's going on right I don't, I don't see anything. So let's go back in here to our blueprint, open up our level blueprint, and let's make sure we can pilot. So yeah, it's compiled. So everything should be going. And he's standing there, which is weird. He should not be standing there. He should be going for us. Let's make sure of something. So I think he might be st oh, he's stuck in the ground. Yeah, I think that's what's wrong with him. He's kinda he looks like he's stuck. Or he's floating, so there we go. He's in the ground now. There he is. Let's get my nav. Let's get my nav mesh. It's gonna make it big enough to cover all of this stuff. And you can see once my nav mesh was good, you can see that he actually the minute the game started, he ran to that point. So the problem that was is that my nav mesh just wasn't mapping out. Um, the world big enough. So you can see these green paths, this green layer on top of my world. This means that the player, or rather the bot, knows this much of your world. So this bot knows just this area of your world, meaning that they cannot go outside of this. So they would not know um, how to get to you outside of this area. Or I wouldn't know how to get to anything outside of this area is really what it's saying. So, what I want to be able to do is instead of using a point, I want to be able to use the character as the point that my guy is trying to get to. So, we can do that. I'm just going to change up some stuff inside of here. So, what I'm going to change is I'm going to change what it's looking for. Because right now, you know, it's looking for um, this point but I want it, it's looking for a location. Well, I don't want that, so let's delete this. We're gonna keep that because we're gonna reuse that. So right here, I want to say, let's say simple move to actor. So there's my actor, there's the controller, <coughs> and then I need a goal, and I wanna say, I wanna get um, the player, so get the player character. And there it is right there. There's return value. So uh, this is this is it, and I want this to fire off when my level starts. So if I come in here and hit play, you can see, look, he's coming to me, and he's trying to get to me. Now let's just move this so we can see what's happening. Now, the cool thing is, is that I'm outside of, at least I should be, I should be outside of the bounds of where he can actually go. All right, so you can see I'm outside of the bounds. So I exist outside of those bounds, and you'll see he doesn't do anything, all right? Because I, I'm I'm outside of that. So I'm gonna move my guy back inside of here. And you can see, he tries to get to me when he hits the boundary of that mesh though you know he stops because he doesn't know what else to do now you can set up additional scripts that when he hits that bounding box and he no longer can can get the character it branches off and you know he goes back to whatever he was doing like a walk cycle or whatever else but like he's following those points or or something else but so I could set that up to an overlap so like um, instead of this firing off, I could I could say that I want this script to fire off, and let's say let's do an event, and it's an actor event, and uh, do 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 do. Actually, I don't need to do that. Let's where's my character? There's my character. So I'm gonna right click in here. Let's say add event for character. 
on begin overlap. So I'm going to fire this off and I'm going to get my nav mesh. Let's see if let's just see if this works, right? So we're just testing some things out. So I'm going to get my nav mesh and there it is. And actually let's just bring it in here. So boop. And let's say collision. No. Oh, it needs a Boolean in between it. So variable Boolean. Alright, so this right here is going to fire off with this guys right here. So, I've got this where this is going to be a boolean that I'm setting. I don't think this is going to work, but we can try it. I wasn't, I wasn't actually overlapping it. Yeah. This would take this would take some time for me to actually be able to debug and get figured out. And maybe I'll write this script and actually put it back up online. But the first part of that script of being able to use your map your nav mesh or use um, points in your world to control where your character goes that's actually pretty easy to do here inside of UE4 so hopefully that has been helpful to you and I hope to see you all here next time for my next video here right on the Dr. Media channel and until next time I am Domico L. Cunningham better known as Dr. Media <laughs>